The blue chippers are already being recruited by all the big programs, but it's the other 98% who have to recruit themselves. And the one thing that we have encountered with coaches over the years is that they are looking for the above average athlete who will also be a good student and a good ambassador for their program after they graduate. So they're looking for the whole package. So we really are geared towards that second level athlete who has put their heart and soul into it and who really just wants to play at the next level and continue to enjoy the sport that they've spent so much time in. The underlying joy that we experience are parents who say to us that we've helped their family afford their kids' college education. Hey, fitness and health fans. It's time to get your game on and crush it with Coach Margella in another episode of Sporting Good Fitness. Join us for the podcast that will coach you from the sidelines to keep you on your game no matter what health or fitness game you play. Hey, I'm Coach Margella. I'm Sporting Good Fitness. What are you sporting? Hey, Coach Margella, what do you have for us today? Welcome back to another episode of Sporting Good Fitness. This is Coach Margella here. Today I have Recruit Reels. They're actually located in, in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, and they help athletes with highlight tapes so they can send them out to get recruited to get scholarships. So I'm here today with Christian and Jacob. I just wanted to welcome you guys to the show and, and thank you for taking time out of your day. Hey, thanks for having us. Yeah, we really appreciate it. So, Christian, uh, you're the owner of the company, and if you could just let our listeners know what got you into doing this and and kind of your, your background in sports. Absolutely. We appreciate you guys having us on. It's a great show. Um, Yeah, we started Recruit Reels um, a little over 10 years ago, and our primary focus was to help high school athletes who were not being actively recruited to recruit themselves, essentially, through a highlight video. And we had um, encountered a lot of athletes, and uh, both Jacob and I have been involved in sports most of our lives. And so we encountered a lot of athletes who wanted to play at the next level but didn't really know the process to go through. And so we started doing highlight videos because we saw a need. Um, I did some initial searches on the web, couldn't find any major competitors out there. And so just launched off and started um, going out and getting folks and started building relationships with valuable partners all over the country with uh, different uh, organizations and who focused on helping uh, young athletes uh, perform and, and do the things that they do. And then we wanted to be complimentary to their efforts. Also, I want to welcome Jacob. If you could briefly talk and talk about what you do as far as being the production manager and uh, some of your experience with sports as well. Again, thanks for having us on. I've been playing sports majority of my life and uh, came on with Recruit Reels about two years ago and started off small. And then ever since I've been here, we've just been knocking it out of the park. Uh, my day-to-day stuff goes from talking to clients to scheduling shooters if they're not in our area to just war- shooting to editing uh just and then working with christian on how we can continue to grow the company and just new aspects uh, that we really want to uh, focus on i was looking at your website and it said that only two percent of athletes are actively recruited and the 98 percent are doing self-recruiting that's actually shocking i guess in today's world are parents aware of that or do they think that a lot of these colleges are going to be coming out to recruit their kids and get on these teams. Most parents are not aware of that, and a lot of them have a really rude awakening about the time their kid hits, you know, sophomore, junior, senior year in high school. And a lot of parents express a frustration that they've had either with their coaches or with someone who's told them, hey, you know, we can help your kid, you know, play at the next level. And they realize there really isn't a lot of help and that they have to do it themselves. Uh, The blue chippers out there are already being recruited by all the big programs, but it's the other nine. 98% who have to recruit themselves and who have to uh, promote themselves. And doing it through video is the most effective way because a coach can see uh, pretty much everything they need to see in a highlight video as to whether or not they want to pay that kid a visit, whether they want to go watch them play, whether they want to contact them. And the one thing that we um, have encountered with coaches over the years is that they are looking for the above average athlete who will also be a good student and a good ambassador for their program after they graduate. So they're looking for the whole package. And so we really are geared towards that second level athlete who has put their heart and soul into it and who really just wants to play at the next level and continue to enjoy the sport that they've spent so much time in. 
Yeah, on your website, you posted about what the cost of tuition is now, and it's unbelievable. Private school was over 32000 a year. Public school for in-state residents is about 10000 And then the people that come out of state to go to the public colleges is about 23000 So the price has definitely gone up. And it's great that you guys are doing this so that more kids are able to get some scholarship money because it is so expensive to go to college now. Absolutely. One of the underlying joy that we experience all the time are parents who say to us that we've helped their family afford their kids' college education. And that is so satisfying to us because we know how important that is. And for the young athlete, one of the things that uh, you know we always ask them is, you know, would you rather play at a, say, a second tier school, a mid-major or uh, lower end D1 type of school on a regular basis, or would you rather try to walk on or hope to make, you know, a big team? And when they think about it, they're like, wow, I'd really rather play. And so that's one of the things that, uh, from an education point of view, that we try to emphasize to the parents and the kids that there is a difference because a lot of parents and kids that come to us and they say, oh, I want to play at a big SEC school or Big Ten school or Big 12 school and all that. But if that were the case, they wouldn't be coming to us necessarily and they would already be actively recruited. So that's our job is to help them find a place that's right for them and give them the tools that they need to reach out to those schools. I've played sports all my life and I was the captain of my football team, but, you know, as I got older, I realized that there were so many more kids out there and we, you know, we would make the playoffs and I'd play some people that I knew that were getting actively recruited for big colleges and even made it to the NFL. And I knew that, you know, I had a a lot of limitations (laughs) once I got to that level. Yeah, I was good, but definitely not going to be a pro. So that would have been something excellent for someone like me who, who probably could have done something Right. Uh, with some help. But also, if you end up getting a scholarship, my goodness, how much you know money people go into debt now to go to college is, is unreal. And it's just a huge baggage that you take off of people. So I really admire that you guys go out and do that for people. It's a real blessing to us and something that we really enjoy. That, that aspect of it specifically is helping families afford college. We get a good amount of athletes who don't go to these like big high schools or their town isn't that big, but they're really good athletes. They're great students and coach may not be able to look at them. So it it allows them an opportunity to be able to put into some of those, uh, you know, mid-major schools or D2, D3 schools to where it really does help them get their name out there to where it gives them opportunities that a while ago they wouldn't have been able to get. Have you worked with any, athletes that are in you know college now or even pro that we would recognize when christian first started he worked with local athlete here in murfreesboro he was i think a quarterback ended up playing for ut and then uh we've had some athletes here recently they're up and coming uh you know juniors and seniors that they're just trying to get their shot i know about a couple months ago we had a a parent call back who their daughter is going to be playing at a notre dame next year in soccer Our two biggest sports are soccer and basketball, and we get a lot of females who we do their uh, soccer videos and basketball. So uh, That's great. Yeah, and I was just watching the other day, you know, the Women's National Championship, and Notre Dame hit that buzzer beater to beat Mississippi State. And, you know, women's sports are really growing so much that I'm glad to hear you guys are able to help the women athletes as well because they definitely have a harder time getting the recruitment because they're not followed as much as the male athletes. And, you know, that's really changing. Um, Probably 50% of our clients are female athletes. And of that 50%, probably 75% of the female athletes that we do highlight videos for are soccer players. Uh, Title IX has opened up, uh, you know, the opportunity for women's sports so dramatically. And soccer and lacrosse, uh, obviously softball has always been big and volleyball, but um, yeah, we do a ton of highlight videos for female soccer players all over the country. The other thing I find is that a lot of female athletes end up being injured more because they're, they're into sports more. I see a lot more mm-hmm. you know, torn yep. ACLs and, and knee problems and, and foot problems and back problems. I saw on your website too, you had some doctors that, that mm-hmm. posted some info about that. What do you notice the most injuries now that you're seeing? As someone who um, has had three knee surgeries due to playing too much football, uh, it's something that's uh, uh, acutely important to me. And one of the reasons that we like uh, partnering with folks like yourself and 
and trainers and stuff like that is so that um, education can be put out there as much as possible about injuries and things like that. Of course, when I was growing up playing football, you know, we just rubbed a little dirt on it, sucked it up and kept on going. And <laughs> and now th- there's a lot more attention to everything from hydration to flexibility to obviously your joint issues are always your major issues, but concussions are a major issue now. Um, and so things like that that are protecting the players, I think, you know, is really smart and good. We're interested in extending the time that a person can play a sport and enjoy it because it's vital to their fulfillment in life. And I remember the last knee surgery that I had in 11th grade, my orthopedic surgeon asked me, he said, would you like to play next year for your senior year or would you like to be able to walk when you're 25? And, you know, I chose, I chose walking when I was 25. And so he said, okay, we got to get you in for surgery and fix your knee. And fortunately, you know, the, the mentality on um, injuries and such is changing. And we want to promote healthy athletes and, and healthy sports as much as possible. We were over at D1, the big sports training place. And that's exactly what we were talking about. And I was able to kind of talk with him about some of the things that I've done with athletes in the area to help with injury prevention and also, you know, better posture and strength and muscle imbalances and foot problems things that sometimes get overlooked. And, you know, I think it was really good that we were able to meet. It was just kind of meant to be that day that that you guys were there. And I appreciate what you guys do. And and I admire that because you really are helping change lives. And if they don't stay healthy, they're they're not going to maintain that scholarship. And that's a big blow if you get hurt and you can't either go to college and, and play the sport or you get hurt while at the college playing the sport and they may take your scholarship away. Yeah, absolutely. If I met you you know, walking, and you just had a a short amount of time to kind of tell me what you guys do. How would you tell me what the company does and and just a quick little soundbite? At the end of the day, what our ultimate goal is to help the student athlete out. If that's a partial scholarship, a walk-on scholarship, a full ride, that's really what we're about. And we're here to help student athletes be able to showcase and highlight their talents on and off the field in a professional highlight video to where they can promote that, send that to coaches, send that to schools, to where it gets them in front of uh, that coach. And hopefully that opportunity will help them take their talents to the next level. You mentioned about concussions before. I know you're filming a lot. Are you, You're seeing more concussions when you're filming now, too? Uh, actually, yeah. So we were filming basketball games about uh, two weeks ago. We saw a nasty one. When we film basketball, what we notice most is that the coaches are teaching them, you know, well to prevent that. And some of the schools aren't up to date with their safety. And the coaches, that's a, you know, huge thing nowadays. But it's more of the locations they're playing at where is it safe enough for them that it's not causing issues or injuries. That's one of the things that I try to really help just educate people on these concussions, especially because they're happening earlier in these Mm -hmm. kids' careers and the lingering effects they have on that, and also knee injuries. Christian mentioned his knee injuries and knee surgeries, and I've been in that boat too. You know, That was why I got started into going to a chiropractor in high school was because I had some knee and back injuries, and it was causing me to lose playing time and, and just be hurt a lot. So I know the importance of doing that at an early age. And hopefully as time goes on, there will be more schools that notice what to do about the injury prevention and just be more aware of how to help educate the, the parents and the students about that. Well, and I'm sure you guys see this, you know, a lot. With The athletes are getting so much better. Uh, they're bigger, they're stronger, they're faster. The impact, the uh, speed, all the things are uh, continuing to increase. And so, you know, it's like, you know, at some point, we're going to have 12-foot basketball goals and 120-yard football fields and things like that because it's really amazing what you see out there, even in youth sports, with the quality of athletes that are out there. But, of course, time off after an injury or flexibility and, like you said, posture, all those different types of things are so much more important as the athletes continue to get uh, more and more athletic. Posture does play a huge role in that as far as injury prevention, but also just strength, either working out or actually playing that sport that they're in. And, you know, I know you guys were talking about a lot of female athletes, just the way that they have, it's called the Q angle in their legs and their hips. That's different than the guy. They're more prone to have these injuries. I've had kids as young as, you know, eight to 10 years old playing soccer, a female that uh, come in that was in tremendous back pain 
Um, but she was a phenomenal athlete. She was the fastest on her team. She was playing soccer and she was already having problems. Um, and we, we scanned her feet and she already had really bad problems with her feet that were creating problems through the knees Mm. and the hips and the back. And we were able to help her get back so that she wasn't getting injured and missing time. You know, even at, I think she was 10, I believe. So it's amazing how soon that starts. And that's some of the things that young athletes don't realize is, is taking care of your body because unfortunately most of us won't be a pro and right. you know that's the harsh reality as right. much as we are good in high school when you when the world expands and you start playing playoffs you start going to different travel teams and things like that you realize how many people are, are competing against you and you know it is very tough to make it even into college so like you had the choice when you were 11 to have the surgery and play the following year or have the surgery so you can walk you know and be normal into your 20s so i agree you made the right choice doing that because you, you want to be able to live your life and not worry about the high school you know football injuries you had or basketball injuries or whatever it is. So you guys not only do the filming of the athletes at the games, but you also take video from parents that send it in, then you edit that video? Yeah, we use pre-existing footage. So if that's uh, someone else shot it, if the parents shot it, if another family member, if the school has it, we're able to take that footage and uh, edit it into a highlight video. Now, so um, we have like two options with that to where either the parents already know the plays they want to pick out, like they want to include into the video and they'll give us like time codes or just a clip or they'll ask us is to use our third party perspective and the knowledge we have about the sports. Uh, we'll get a little bit of background on the uh, athlete and then what we'll do is we'll go through and pick out the plays from however many games they send us. And we'll take those plays and put the top 10 first and then edit that into their video. And we make it to where the parents and athletes have options because we truly want to be able to offer them this service and we will work with them uh, to be able to afford this. I'm glad you guys make it affordable for parents, especially if their budget's tight and they, they know that they really do need to get that scholarship for the kids so they can go to the college that they want. What are you looking to do to expand your business? You know, where do you see your business going in the next few years? Do you have any plans coming up here? So the thing we're doing right now is where we really see our services really uh, taking effect is we're getting into uh, events. Uh, we really think that tournaments and showcases and like travel team stuff, that's really where we want to get into. So we're trying to partner with tournaments and events to where we'll go out and film every game. And then we offer that at an athlete price or a team price to where they'll receive all the footage. Because not only is it just good to have that video footage for if they do want to create it into a highlight video, which we'd offer. It's also a great training aspect. There are a lot of people now today who are visual learners. So if you can say, okay, well, in the third game we played in this tournament, you did this. You'll be able to visually show them what they were doing wrong and then say, this is what we need to do to correct that. So that's something we're really getting into. We really love doing the highlight videos and it's something we're going to continue to do and we hope it continues to grow and we can continue to help more and more athletes. But we're really getting into the sports tournaments and the events. We're hoping that it just continues to grow and takes off. We actually just launched our website, sportseventvideos.com. It's a division of Recruit Reels strictly for events where people can contact us and see if we can come out and help their local tournament, showcase, whatever they need, we'll be able to handle. That's what I was just going to follow up with. So the other website, if you could mention that, and then some of the ways they can find you on social media to reach out to you. Yeah, so we're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're real big on Facebook where you can look us up at Recruit Reels. We're shooting all over now, so we try to post that. We'll promote deals or discounts we're doing. And then they can also find us at RecruitReels.com. We're always trying to stay active. We'll be putting some pictures of stuff. We're shooting in Gatlinburg this weekend, and then next weekend we'll be in Indianapolis. And then we'll be in St. Louis. We're all over the map, and that's something we really want to be able to show that we can go anywhere anyone needs us to. That's awesome. We've shot in Canada before. Uh, oh, it's, wow. Yeah, so we if we're not able to physically make it out to a tournament or, or like a game or something, we have trusted shooters all across the country. We did a video for a youth player a couple months ago in Hawaii. We've shot in Canada before. We've gone California, Florida, South Dakota. We've gone all over the place. 
the, in just the next couple of weeks, we're shooting in New York. We're shooting in St. Louis, Indianapolis, Gatlinburg, Atlanta. And then uh, we actually this weekend just shot in Wisconsin. We actually had a client contact us there. So it's a client that we've worked with before, and uh, their daughter was going to be in. Uh, it wasn't a soccer tournament. It was a soccer like training session that their travel team was going to. It was in uh, Spain, and they were going out there and get working with all these like trainers and stuff. It was like a week and a half event, and they were playing three games. And uh, it's something that the dad wanted us to possibly go out and film. So. And then we did our research and we found a shooter. If it's something you truly wanted, we'll we'll make it happen for you. Well, thank you again for talking to us today about the Recruit Reels process and kind of why you guys do what you do. I really admire that and I appreciate you being on the show and I know you're busy, so I'll let you go so you can get back to doing what you do. We really appreciate you having us on. It's something that we really enjoyed doing, and uh, we love hearing more of what you did and how you can help student athletes and just people. And it's something we really appreciate you having us on, and hopefully we'll be able to do it again. Yeah, I look forward to working with you guys. I know we have a lot of similar interests, and uh, I know we can really help each other, help a lot of people with their injuries and just with their aspirations and goals in life. So I I think it's a great relationship, and, and thank you for taking the time again today. Oh, no, you're welcome. Please reach out to Recruit Reels. They have the right intentions and they have the right reasons why they're doing what they're doing. It's so important that people realize that it's not all the glory. There's a lot of grind to it. There's a lot of people that don't really get noticed and that they have to do it on their own. And like they were talking about, 98% of these these kids are doing self-recruiting because they're not actively recruited. And it's important that they have things out there like this that are affordable and get the highlight tapes out in the right hands so that they look good. And as they're, they're done, they're done to the way the coaches want them. And they talked about some of the injuries that they see when they're filming. And, you know, that's really why I got into chiropractic was because I had gotten injuries as, as a teenager playing football and I was getting some knee and, and back injuries. And it wasn't until I went to the chiropractor that I finally was able to get help and stay injury free the last couple of years of high school you know it really enhanced what I was doing because little did I know at that time I was a good athlete but that was the last time I was going to play competitive sports was when high school was over and I think that's the realization that many people get is that that's it and if you get hurt in your last couple of years of high school you missed your chance to start you missed your chance to do the things that you work so hard for And, you know, that's why I do what I do is I really try to educate people that it starts as a kid or a teenager that if you don't take care of those problems and Christian talked about the the knee injuries that he had and he still, you know, deals with now, but he had to make that choice. Do you you want to walk again and be, you know, normal in in your 20s and 30s and, and beyond or do you want to play next year in sports? And those are some of the decisions people have to make. And what I try to do with our athletes is really do a great evaluation on them so that we know exactly what we're dealing with because I want to help these kids not get injured, get that scholarship, and get the playing time that they work for. I mean, that's what we're here for. That's why we work so hard, and that's why we play sports. We want to compete. We want to win. I mean, let's get real. That's, that's why I do it. That's why I did it when I was younger, and I want to help these kids win. Sports is one of the greatest things I, I think – in life it really brings people together and it really brings happiness to a lot of people so you know if you get injured unfortunately that's the worst and you you can't really live up to the expectations you had on yourself and possibly get that scholarship that might save you thousands and thousands of dollars in debt later in life it really is something overlooked at a young age but it's something so easy to fix then as opposed to later in life that it's really worth checking it out so Again, reach out to Recruit Reels if if you have a son or a daughter that's involved in sports and and you want them to get recruited and and you feel like you're not maybe getting noticed as much. They'll really help you do the right things for that. Uh, Could change your life. Could save you a lot of money, too. So follow us in future episodes. We have some more great guests lined up. But I really try to get people on here that are doing good in the community and and are doing it for the right reasons. And, And that's what I really admire. You know, more and more, I I try to align with them so that I can help you learn things that will help you enhance your life. Uh, Whether I ever see you or not, this way that you can really get a lot out of these episodes. And I hope you enjoyed listening today, and I look forward to doing more episodes with you. So again, this is Coach Margella. I'm Sporting Good Fitness. How about you? 
Thank you, Coach Margella, for another thrilling episode. Sporting Good Fitness is a broadcast wellness production powered by Ideal Health and Wellness Center in Franklin. Executive producer, Frank Sardella. Dr. Margella appears courtesy of Ideal Health and Wellness Center, copyright 2018, all rights reserved. For more information, visit Sporting Good Fitness, 